So we start with your past. The hangman. The hangman generally shows that you are at crossword. Cross, cross, that shows, the hangman generally shows that you are at a crossroads. Sorry about that. One with only two options, in or out. Up or down, yes or no. You may find yourself, you may find yourself very much wanting to do something, but having no type of idea what it is or how you should go about doing it. If this happens, that's a clear, definite sign that you should stop now, relax, and look at different ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life, situations, people, and things. It's possible that there is an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. Any sacrifice that you make will open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. All in all, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time, particularly if you are willing to look at if or how you might best serve your own interests by being willing to change. So we have the Ace of Pentacles paired with the Hangman. And once again, this is your past. Now the Ace of Pentacles is likely to find you enjoying new beginnings on several levels. And this is a very positive new beginning. You're likely to be feeling optimistic, upbeat, and hopeful about your future. Things should be going well in general. You could well be starting something new very soon. This could be in the realm of work or personally. But either way, it's a very good thing. So with these two cards paired together, with the hangman showing up, you're definitely at crossroads, but very soon you'll be finding new positive beginnings on several and many different levels. Now let's move on to the present. And with the present, we have the Ace of Cups paired with the Nine of Cups. So we start with the Ace of Cups, which is a very, very positive, powerful omen relating to love, happiness, and affection. Like all of the Aces, it is about new beginnings, and although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of life. Things are looking up. In general, people will respond to you with happiness, love, and goodwill more than usually in the near future. You should be feeling good about life in general. This is a great time to make friends. Then the Nine of Cups below, paired with the Ace of Cups, is one of the most uplifting and pleasant cards to receive in a reading, known often as a wish card. It can mean that what you are hoping for or dreaming about is most likely to be yours. In a brief period of time, generosity too. 
the appearance of this card is usually a portent of happiness and good things about to come. It also usually means that what you want is likely to come into being into your life. If asked a yes or no type of question, I would say this card is the most powerful indicator of yes. But like everything else in the tarot cards, that is not carved in stone. So with these two cards paired together, they're both two very positive cards. Basically, you'll be enjoying love, happiness, and affection. And what you're hoping for or dreaming of is most likely to be yours. And now we move on to the challenge. The challenge is a nine of swords paired with the Ten of Wands. So we start with the Nine of Swords. You will need to guard against a feeling of anxiety. If you are feeling anxious, take a good look at whether or not any of that is under your own power or control and thus you could lessen it or if other things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. If it is the latter, take a good look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. There's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger than it is. Try to take control and enjoy in the ordinary things. That's where the beauty really stands. And once again, we have this card paired with the Ten of Wands. When the Ten of Wands appears, you may feel as though you are carrying a heavy burden. You may want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. If you look carefully, you may find that part of your burden or part of the burden you are carrying emotionally actually belongs to someone else. It will be important for you to pace yourself now. Don't try to do too much. So with these two cards paired together, Your challenge would be to basically guard yourself against feelings of anxiety because you may feel as if you are carrying a very heavy burden. So pace yourself and try not to do too much. And once again, that would be your challenge. Now let's move on to the outcome. The outcome is the Queen of Pentacles. This card can indicate that you will be spending time, money, and energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. This is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt. People will be looking to you for insight and or advice. You will be able to help them if you are so inclined. This is a great period and a great time when you can get a whole lot accomplished. So paired with the Wheel of Fortune, this card always reminds us that this too shall pass. 
Whether that's good times or bad times, it passes. If suddenly you find yourself sitting on the top of the world, keep your perspective as that too, like anything else, changes. So live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is out of your control. But that even, that is okay. Roll with any changes and think positively. So with those two parents paired together, basically you'll be getting a lot accomplished. Roll with the changes, count your blessings, and once again, think positive. Okay, Libras, thank you so much for watching, and I hope it's a great month for you.